Okay. Okay. We're broadcasting now. And your picture just disappeared. Okay. You there, Rachel? Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start with question one here. We're having a lot of technical difficulties. Uh, tell me why you are interested in pursuing a job in the agricultural financing field. Well, I would like to pursue a job in this field because I have been around agriculture all my life. My parents own a dairy farm, and I've always helped around the office doing books and keeping records. So I've just always dreamed of a job in agricultural financing. Okay. Okay. Uh what have you learned from working as part of a large corporation like Starbucks that will assist you with a job in accounting and financial reporting? Um, well, obviously with the large corporation, there's lots of guidelines and rules to follow. So I feel that having those rules and guidelines has assisted me for the future in order to prepare myself for the real world guidelines <laughs> and um, the career in agricultural finance. Okay. What skills will bring, will you bring to the federal farm credit banks funding corporation? Are you there? I think her connection has been lost again. I can hear you now. Okay. I'll try again here. Uh, what, sk what skills will you bring to the Federal Farm Credit Banks Funding Corporation? Um, well, uh, I have great time management skills. I've always liked to get things done early and on time if possible. Um, I also like to think of new ideas for getting things done in a different way that may benefit everybody, um, whether it be quicker, or easier, or faster. So I feel like those are two good skills I could bring to the office at Farm Credit. Okay, great. Uh, can you give me an example of a goal you reached using teamwork? Um, yes. Um, at Starbucks, obviously, we use teamwork in doing all of our whatnot, but recently we've had a bunch of coffee sales, and um, it's really helpful to have an encouraging team behind you and have a lot of teamwork going on to reach those goals. So I think um, just being able to involve yourself in teamwork and group work is really encouraging and to, especially to myself to help me get things done. Okay. And I got one last question for you here. Uh, other than work and school, is there any other life experiences that has led you to or pertains to a job in agricultural finance? Um, yeah, like I said earlier, my parents own a dairy, and I've always been around the office helping my dad with uh, books and keeping records and receipts and whatnot. So I feel like just growing up around that has really encouraged me to this agricultural um, field. Okay, I'm going to ask you, because uh, your voice came through, but there was no picture for the first two questions. So I'm just going to re-ask you the first two questions since it seems to be working now, uh, just so the teacher can see that. Uh, number one was, uh, tell me why you are interested in pursuing a job in the agricultural financing field. Were you able to catch that? I'm in a job in the agricultural finance.
Are you still there? Okay, there we are. I lost the picture completely. Can you still hear me, Rachel? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can now, yes. Okay. Okay. I'll go with number one again, because as soon as I asked it, of course, your picture went away. Uh, tell me why you are interested in pursuing a job in the agricultural financing field. Um, I've always been interested in this field because I grew up around a dairy and I was always in the office with my dad doing bookkeeping and record keeping and paint a career in the agricultural financing field. Okay, and then I'll re-ask number two again. Uh, what have you learned from working as part of a large corporation like Starbucks that will assist you with a job in accounting and financial reporting? Well, we're a lot of rules and guidelines we have to follow. So I feel that having some type of um, some type of guidelines and rules that I have had to follow will help me in my future career because I will be used to um, those rules. And so I feel like that will help me in the future. Okay. Uh, okay, so that video worked for those a little choppy still. So if you want to flip flop it, we can reverse it here and I'll let you ask the questions. Okay. Um, question. What are the assets you can offer as the fire? You'll have to ask again. That was that was too choppy. I couldn't understand it. If you could please. What? I've got zero audio. Are you still there? Did you get that? Can you hear me? I didn't get any audio if you asked me that first question. Okay. Can you hear me now? I can, yes. Okay. Okay. First question. What are some quality assets you can offer as a fire captain or shift commander? Uh, well, uh, obviously, I've got uh, 20 years experience in the fire service. I've served as a firefighter at all three levels. Uh, I've also served as a lieutenant now for the last 10 years. Uh, I'm also uh, pursuing my fire administration degree. I already have a fire officer degree and a fire science degree. Uh, I also uh, do things in the community. I do the Santa drive every year for the city uh, Black Diamonds Community Center. Uh, for the fire department uh, and I like to just I, I love the fire service and uh, I put my all into it and I think that's what's gonna make me a great captain number two in the absence of the Fire chief, what are some of the main? Uh, 
Uh, I heard in the absence of the fire chief, what are, and then I couldn't, the rest of the question cut out. Okay, I'll say it again. In the absence of the fire chief, what are some of the main operations that you would focus on? Uh, in the main operations I'd be focusing on is the day-to-day -day operations, uh, making sure that stations are sh uh, staffed, uh, making sure that calls are being uh, run or taken care of by the different stations for that shift of the day that I was on. Uh, and it's mostly just going to be the day-to-day -day operations. Um, if something other major comes up, I would have to handle that too, but that's going to be your basic, uh, what I'm going to be doing in the absence of the fire chief. I could be doing anything in the absence of the fire chief if need be, but those are the main, uh, main issues I'd be dealing with. Um, um, I don't know if you're still uh, there. Oh, there, your picture just came back. Can you hear me? I can now, yes. But if you're asking me a question now, I can't hear you. Okay, I'll ask it again. Okay. Okay. Do you have any experience performing the roles of an incident safety officer? Uh, I do. I have uh, filled that role on uh, swift water rescues. I have also filled it on um, house fires. Uh, and I also have taken the classes uh, through the National Fire Academy to certify me uh, as a safety officer. Okay. Uh, last question. Um, after pursuing your degree, how long do you plan on staying with this fire team? Uh, I would like to finish my career where I'm at. I've been uh, with my, this department I've been at Mountain View for uh, 20 years almost, and I would like to finish my career there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop broadcasting here. Okay.